That's downtown Calgary, my hometown. We're here today not to shoot golden hour. We're gonna wait for golden hour to finish. We're gonna wait for sunset to finish. We're gonna shoot blue hour, that time of day after the sun goes down, but there's still lots of color in the sky and the building lights are gonna be on. It's a magical time, it's called blue hour. It's the best time of day to shoot a cityscape. Forget about pitch black, forget about sunset, wait for blue hour. And tonight, sunset's gonna be kind of boring. There are no clouds, so it's not gonna light up. So it's not gonna be a spectacular sunset. That's why for today's conditions, blue hour, we're gonna wait for that. There's two locations I wanna shoot, two shots we're gonna get. We're gonna get the hero shot here. This is Scotsman's Hill. We're overlooking uh, Calgary and there's the stampede behind me. Then we're gonna just walk a little farther down about 400 yards uh, to this off leash park area. And we're gonna get a wider angle of the city. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Stick with me tonight. We got a schwack of time to kill. We're gonna let the sun set. So what I decided to do is let's just take you down to where I'm going to be shooting the second location. So there is location one, that's Scotsman's Hill Lookout, and we're just going to walk down this road and see you on the other side. So we've just walked down the road from where we were, and this is going to be our second location. We're just a little farther down. There is a awesome green space out here. That's really well used, but we're going to set up our second location as I trip over the fence. Uh, we're going to set up the second location right about here, and then we'll shoot this way and just get a different angle. Instead of straight on the saddle dome with the Calgary Tower behind it, we're a little bit over. We'll do a little wider, get a little bit more of the city. Uh, waiting for blue hour. Okay, another tip. When you come to this area, uh, bring a blanket to sit on because it's an off-leash area. There's dog pee all over the place. And also, this is where the party buses bring all the all the guys getting drunk and the girls getting drunk. But the guys, you know guys, dog pee's not the only pee out here. Last tip for you, bug spray. The Elbow River is right down there and the mosquitoes are crazy. So bug spray is a necessity as well. So this is what I'm talking about, about a bland sunset. The sun is setting right now. There's no clouds in the sky at all. It's just a, a, a gradient transition. So if I take a shot now, we'll get a little outline of the city, which will be kind of cool, but uh, won't be as spectacular as waiting for blue hour. But let's pop this shot and see what we got. Well, all we're gonna do now is wait for some darker skies, wait for those building lights to pop on, and then uh, we'll get back to you. Camera says I'm level. Let me talk you through the shot here of what's going on. I am uh, focusing in on the Saddle Dome and the Calgary Tower. I've got the frame just by this yellow boardwalk area and I'm coming across over to about, about there, in that area there. I'm including the Elbow River in the bottom. Uh, that's the composition. That's what we got. Let's just wait a couple more minutes. Look at this. <laughs> And just like that, the sky has exploded in color. Uh, I moved locations just a little bit. I went a little farther to the right, and uh, wow, that sky is so pink right now. Okay, let me show you my setup here. That is exactly what's happening right now. The sunset is just absolutely igniting right now. I moved a little bit over to the right. There's some high level cloud that came in and have just exploded. We're getting um, these great rays coming from the shadows of the building. Um, we're gonna pop some shots here. This is blue hour and sunset at its finest.
There is one trick I want to show you. If you look at the back of my camera for the exposure, I'm at one fourth of a second F11 as ISOs 100. I'm underexposing. If you look at my meter right here, uh, I'm underexposing for the sky. And that's just going to make this sky pop so beautifully in the shot. Oh, it's just, it's purple and red and orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expose for the sky in one shot, then expose for the building in another shot, and then combine them in Photoshop. So we've got the, the building lit up. Also, I'm going to increase my uh, f-stop to a little bit more than f11, probably f12, 13. I'm going to make the building lights turn into stars. Location number one done. Let's head back to that original location on Scotsman's Hill Lookout. I ran over to get our second location. Uh, we're shooting at, I'm out of breath, whew, shooting at F16, ISO's 100, and there's our new location. We're shooting straight on. The tower is lit up in purple and green tonight. It's gonna be killer. Let's pop the shot and see what we got. Oh, that's gonna be tasty. Even the moon is out tonight. Look at that gorgeous moon. <sighs> what a beautiful night. And I come back and the towers change now to red on top and green on the bottom. It's gonna be a Christmas and it just went to gold. So the trick is to take a shot of downtown Calgary with the tower changing color every, you know, 30 seconds or minute. Take your shot, time your shot, just as the Calgary tower changes color. So it's pulsating now so there's no point in trying to take in a longer exposure uh, shot like a two or three second shot because it'll just turn out washed out so I know a solid green pattern is going to come up as soon as it switch switches to solid green that's when I'm going to pop my shot my camera's right below there's my camera it's pulsating still okay so it just hit solid green so I'm going to pop my shot right now knowing that I've got time to take it. I'm on a three second exposure. So that should light up nicely, nice solid green. I'm popping a couple of shots just to make sure I get it. Um, I'm actually bracketing. I might need to do an HDR, I might not. I don't think I will be able to, will have to do an HDR, but just in case, might as well have the shots there. Two shots I wanted to get. Waiting for golden hour to end, blue sky kicks in, the buildings light up, cotton candy skies. Aren't those tasty? Well, blue hour did not disappoint tonight. Spectacular. Wait for the sun to go down. You never know what's going to happen. It's not always about golden hour. Wait for that blue hour. This has been an amazing night. In the meantime, and in between time, I'll catch you next time. Hey, and as always, guys, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, get those notifications, share the video with your friends. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you next time.